and welcome back to the channel everybody today we've got another music teacher reaction and analysis video for you specifically we're going to be looking at the group nana war of steel and their song entitled norwegian reggaeton uh featuring charlie glamour and gigatron <laughs> with that being said everybody let's get into it yeah you do my heart and my blood is spilling babe like oil from a platform in the North Sea. You fish me like a wheeler in violation of international treaties, babe. DJ Chalk. Now I'm in an awful state of mind, honey. And you burned my soul like the Fent of Church in June 1992, babe. And all I want to tell you is. I wish I could speak Spanish. <laughs> I I do have a little bit of Spanish uh, background, but it's like it's been like twenty years. So I, I'm picking out some words. Uh, like I know that we were all being asked to come dance at some point, but <laughs> but that's about the, all I got out of this. Well, I'm so confused right now. So it says Norwegian reggaeton is that. So I was expecting some like reggae. This and this is more like a salsa or a samba. Probably more like a samba than a salsa. But uh, still, I, I mean, maybe we're going to get some more reggae action later. I mean, I guess you can kind of call it reggae, but I get more of a salsa and a samba vibe than I <laughs> than I do uh, a reggae vibe. But what is going on? <laughs> let's let's continue. Yeah, vamos a bayar. I think that means let's like come dance with me. And Hellhammer Ivarg. I don't know what that means. All right, let's continue. Vamos a bailar con There's the name. Did it just say salmon? Oh boy. <laughs> Okay. Here's the reggae. <laughs> what is that? Okay, before we continue into this next section, so I I gotta I gotta give them credit where credit is due. I, I mean I have no idea what they're saying for the most part, but the especially the the samba salsa section, uh, the the chorus is really good. 
Like that's really well written uh, uh, Latin music, essentially. Like that's that's a it's got a great vibe. It's got a great um, pulse. The rhythms behind it and everything. It's amazing. Uh, the re- the reggae section was a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's a bi- it's a bit of a stretch to call that reggae. It was still a little bit more of a Latin vibe than reggae, but it's at least kind of, it's closer than the chorus is. The chorus is definitely more of what I would call like a uh, a salsa um, than a. It's I would I don't know. It's kind of a borderline between salsa samba. Depends on what your your take is on that. But uh, this is so much fun. I just wish I knew the words. This is so much like uh, Val Hallelujah. Val, Val Hallelujah, I knew a little bit more of it, but they still threw in so many different languages. I still had no idea what they were saying. Like, And it wouldn't shock me if some of this is Spanish and then some of it's not. And so I'm just getting confused. Like, asando un salmon. Is that salmon? <laughs> like, something about a salmon? Like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics, those of you guys that are fans of this and obviously know all the lyrics and the translations and everything, let me know in comments like what they're saying. Are they talking about salmon here? Really? Really? <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue into the bridge here. Okay, where are we wanting on that? Because how often do we ever get a chance to hear, I'm pretty sure it was a marimba, uh, like a chance to hear a marimba playing a solo <laughs> in in quote unquote popular music? That's pretty rare. It was really cool. It was really well done. I liked it. Pretty sure it's marimba. Sounds like wood, not metal. I could be wrong on that. I can't I can't think off the top of my head. Where is that from? Where what song is that? It's a direct copy of a song, and I in your head. What's oh, I'm sorry, that was terrible singing, but uh, it's a direct copy from a song. I know the song. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. It's a dir- how did they not get copyrighted for that? That's crazy. Is it just because they used just such a short lick? I'm shocked they didn't get copyright strike for that. That's crazy. That is so awesome. Uh, we're gonna go back to the marimba. Uh, let me know, guys, in chat, in uh, chat comments. Yeah, chat comments. Is that is it a marimba um, or is it a xylophone? I don't think it's a xylophone. It does not sound metallic enough to be a xylophone. Um, I could be wrong without being able to actually see it. It could be it could be a xylophone. Plus, I just want to hear in your head again. Like that bottom register sounds like a marimba. really good like did they bring in an outside musician to play that I would assume they did what song is this from please let me know in comments guys I know I've heard this before it's a direct copy Nice roll of the R. It's... <laughs> Did you guys see what he was just doing there? Uh, we'll back up to that. It's so cool. Uh, so you typically think of like a samba, a salsa, you know, I, I'm, I'm calling him. I don't know. I keep going back and forth between whether it's a samba or a salsa. I think it more of it is a samba, the more I listen to it. Um, but when you think of something like this, you think so traditionally of like traditional instruments that go along with this and not heavy metal rock type 
instruments and effects. And it's so cool to hear stuff like that in different styles of music. I, we so often just think of, you know, heavy rock, electric guitar, drums, all the effects, especially that we use on the guitar and the bass as just being for heavy metal and or um, he like hard rock kind of stuff. It's so cool to hear a group go outside of the traditional styles and do something different and unique like this. Like I, I have to give them credit for that. As, as silly as their stuff is, it's so cool to see them being knowledgeable enough about music to go out and write and kind of cross these different genres together. I've said it before in our channel, guys. I love it when we find music that blends and melds genres together. And that is so cool. It is such a testament to their ability as musicians, uh, as writers, to be able to do something like that and have it be this successful and this awesome. Like, kudos to these guys. I, I, again, I just... Sorry, I'm like, I'll step down from my soapbox right now. But man, is that awesome. Absolutely awesome. We're going to go back and listen to this section again. Pay attention to what uh, what he's playing on the <laughs> on the bongos. We'll call them the bongos. <laughs> Great bongo playing right there. <laughs> That's a really catchy melody too, in itself. Like that's super catchy. Okay, now it's just the outro credits. Int I do want to watch a little bit of this and see if they specify what the pl uh, whether it was a marimba or not. Doesn't look like they're going to. This is all the technical stuff. Yeah. Oh well, man, what a what an amazing song, guys! I, I have tons of fun. I, we we know that Nur, um, that Nana War of Steel is obviously a very fun group. They do a lot of things in jest but at the same time their musician skills are really really top notch we talked about how their, their ability to, tr to blend these different genres together is so impressive it's so cool so well done absolutely loved it uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as i did if you did i'd appreciate if you guys gave a like if you want to catch more of the content that we've got coming out here make sure you guys subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss anything and last but not least, if you would like to join the live discussion, uh, head over onto Discord and join us on Discord. You can find the link for that down below in the video description. All right, everybody. Catch you next time.